In today's video, I'm using book pages to make three items for my July Just Junk Journal Challenge journal. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I have three ideas for you today using book pages. So I am working on my journal for the July Just Junk Journal Challenge here on Dear Julie Julie. And one of our elements is to make three items using book pages. So I have these from my book, from the, the Birdhouse book. These were the inside covers, okay? So I have that. Then I have my little green book that has green letters, okay? Um, or green, yeah, green, page, green writing pages. I have a napkin, I have junk mail from Ace, but I mean, who could say that's junk mail? And I have some junk mail from Boys Town, so those might get used in here. I have uh, a napkin and some pattern paper, just in case, okay? So to start off with, we're going to be using this, and I'm going to find a page that has uh, writing on the whole page. Okay, so we'll go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. And then we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make something using this page. I think these are awesome. They were the inside, like I said, the inside pages of this journal. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to the three and a half mark here. Oh, yeah. And cut that. Okay, so that gives me that. It is plain on the other side, which I really, really like. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to clean up this page. Okay, so I'm going to just... I just want words and so that was three and a half so let's go in to like two and a half okay and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the bottom here and Okay, so I've had several people ask me if you can um, count, like I'm going to be using a napkin um, and the book pages, can I count the same element for both? No, you can't. Okay, this time there are not that many elements. We only had you doing 11 different things. You might have three of each of using each of those things, but um, yeah, so not this time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that out of the way just so that I don't end up with it. Um, I don't want to get glue or anything on it. So I have, this is one of the napkins that I chose. Because remember, I chose a second napkin as part of my five. Now, I haven't used it yet, so I may um, change it out. And so I'm going to go to one of these that has... Okay, so I'm just got to get my nap napkin separated here. Okay, usually there's two or three ply. So you want to check it. And sometimes you'll even think that you've gotten it all and there will be one more. So make sure that you get them all. Okay, so there's my napkin. And these will give me some cleanup pieces, which is actually works out really well. Um, okay, so I have this. And let's see if we can find... Okay. Okay. I can put him on here. Okay, see on there? I can put him on there. Okay. 
and he'll cover the whole thing but not take away from this one and not really take away from that one. So I'm going to put it over here on the side and let's go ahead. I'm going to use glue stick. I really like the way that worked um, with the napkin lately. As long as you put a lot of glue down. Okay, so you got to put a lot of glue. You could Mod Podge this if that's your thing. I I am not I'm not a fan of Mod Podge in my journals. So I um, I don't use it anymore in my journals. I use it a lot in my DIY, but not in my journals. Okay. Um, okay, I want to make sure that I'm careful. Careful, careful. I don't want to get the bird next to me, but I want that whole, I want the bird that I've chosen, I want the whole bird on here if I can get him on here. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out, pull this, and then carefully push this down. Okay. I love the way it looks when you put a napkin over some other type of paper. So yesterday we put it on top of music paper for the, oh no, that's today. No, that was yesterday. We did the hearts yesterday, right? In the beginner's junk journal. Oh boy, my days are starting to really run together. So I love how this turned out. Okay. Love it. Now it will want to continue to dry. Go ahead and get the, the glue off the back that came up but stayed on the desk apparently. Okay. Okay. So there, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, how simple, but how, how totally pretty. Okay, again, to you can use your glue sticks. I'm trying to use all the glues that I have because, you know, it's, like, it's not like you just, I don't just go to the store anymore. <laughs> you don't just pop in the car and. I stay home. Okay. So there's that. So that gives me that beautiful card. So two ways that we've used book page. Okay. So we had this beautiful book page from inside the book that I am using. Then we had this green writing page. I'm gonna go ahead and use my corner rounder. You can use any punches that you want to in this challenge. Okay, and then Let's see, go ahead and so this is one of my, part of the fabric, <laughs> okay, so this gives me a piece of this and then we're saving our edges or our frayed pieces, our frayed fabric. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put it over itself and bring it up and that will be my, my little tassel top there, my little topper for the 
guess this would be a tag topper. Okay, and use my tiny attacher and those. So there's my, it's pretty simple, um, but do remember we have from my um, wrapping paper, I have been saving, um, I finally went and ripped out one full set of the sayings and all the flowers. And so let's see. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and add a saying to this and making it kind of like a bookmark or a tag, but there is journaling space to write on it. And we'll just go ahead and finish it off with this. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving hi and say hi to Midnight. She loves the birds. Hi, Midnight. If you're here after the premiere, we'd like to invite you to come to a premiere. We have that every day at 1030 with a brand new crafty video usually junk journaling, sometimes paper crafting or other shopping haul or happy mail. And then also while we're home, safer at home, each weekday we have the Beginner's Junk Journal series and we invite you to join us there. So right now we're working in our little golden book and having lots of fun. So back to our regular scheduled Program. Now remember, if you like the vintage distress look, you can go ahead and all of these items could have been distressed and given you that look. So there is my first book page item. And so let's move on to the second book page item. We are going to go ahead and use the little green book again. This time we are going to take out a page. And we are going to use the ace. This is the little um, savings thing that was in the ace uh, thing. And my husband didn't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little gluey sticky things on this side so that they will hold. And um, okay. And I am going to go ahead and put this down and I'm going to use this to make an envelope. So I'm going to take this card. I'm going to take this card and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold up almost to the bottom of the card. Okay. Then I'm going to fold down. Okay. Then I'm going to fold in from the sides and I'm going to, I've been matching up at my straight edges here so that I get a good straight edge. Okay. And let's go to over here. Okay. Match up down at the bottom straight edge and come in. Okay. Okay. So what we have is the, the this card will fit inside here okay and we fold it up we fold it down we fold it in and we fold it in so um, now I need to I need to measure that that was one inch okay so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna fold it in again at one inch so I, I just marked it on my my little black thing here my um, table cover has a grid okay so and then I'm going to go ahead and cut along that that line okay So you can do this with, is it, you know, like using your calendar, um, any, any paper, and figuring out what card you want to put in it, 
and then being able to do that. So you can just do it as simple as putting those pieces together and then folding down your flap. We're going to do this um, a little bit different than that. So we are going to come in from here. Okay, so I'm going to go out about a quarter of an inch and come in at an angle, 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 not ankle, to the corner here. So four, four points right here, four corners. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, um, well, the thing you want to do here, oops, I forgot to put this, is you put this part over, okay? And you want to make sure you stay inside this. So whatever you are cutting at this side, at this angle, you want it to stay inside that because that's the flap that's going to go up and this is going to come over. Okay? So then you can take your same flap and take it over to the other side. So you're going to do the same thing on this side. First of all, coming out from about a quarter of an inch and going into the corner. Okay? You can use this piece. So you can go ahead or you can just eye it, which is what I normally would do. So this is the, the piece with the fold from this side. And then you can just come over and follow along that and cut. Okay. And so this flap will fold up and this will fold over and this will fold over. Okay. So, um, from this spot, okay, so from from right above where it's where it ends, you want to also go over to your corner and then you can cut this and then come to this side, come from just above where that is up to your corner and on this one if you don't quite make it to the corner it's okay you'll notice most envelopes that I've seen this top piece is not right at the okay so there's that and then you can just go ahead and round these corners but you can see this is a totally different type of envelope and if you watched the privacy envelope video um, yesterday during this series, then you saw that there was a privacy envelope that had this, um, looked like that. And I was like, oh, we should make those. So guess what? We're making those with our green book page. So there's my adorable little envelope. Now you can go ahead and close it. Okay, I want to make sure that there's some on these corners. And then also along this edge. Okay, so there we go. And there we go. So I made sure that there was some on this corner and along the edge. And that gave me my envelope. And now I can go ahead and I can, I'm going to use, apparently they put their stamps on, then they made a uh, copy of it. Because these are the stamps that are on this, this mailer. When it came to my parents, it had the stickers but, oh my gosh look at the inside of this envelope oh oh well <laughs> what's done is done Julie make sure you look inside the boys town envelopes from now on because I'm going to go ahead. I'm cutting these. They'll be ready to use is what I'm like. Okay, might as well 
have them ready. We'll use the hope. Okay, we're gonna put that there like it was Like it was the stamp for our little envelope. And then we're going to go ahead and pick out a little set of words. And we'll go ahead and put that right on the front there. Again, this is from my, my wrapping paper that I chose. Okay. So that is number two. And then number three we are going to see the return of the fluffy flower. Say hello to the fluffy flower. So we are going to go ahead and cut some or punch. Remember we can use any punches that we want to. I just kind of went, ah! then I went, oh yeah, I can use punches. <laughs> Okay, so I like to use four or five for the fluffy flower. Okay, so that gives me, should give me 10. Yeah. Okay, so for the next one, we are going to go ahead and I have, well, I have another book page too. That's from the Highlights Magazine. Now, whether I use that or not, we will see. Okay. Okay, so um, this was in the mail. And we have our fun little little bird here. Okay, so to get the white edge I on this one, I am going to hold down with my right hand and pull with my left. You see if I hold down with my right and pull, or hold down with my left and pull with my right, um, this is what I would be getting right here around this particular bird. So I want to make sure that... Okay, we can cut this off now that we've decided what we're doing with it. It says, attract the birds you love. So, there's that. Okay, so now I can use hold with my left and tear with my right, which is what I usually... thinking about putting this down and then this okay yeah that's what we're doing okay so we're gonna go ahead and that way we still have all that that can be the writing part so I'm gonna use the glue stick again and go on this card so for this element you just need to use book pages somehow, some way. Show us three ways to use a book page. And um, that's what we're looking We're looking for ideas this time. We want you to show us what you like to make with these different elements. And sometimes, some of them, they will be things that you've not used or, or worked with before. Um, we have several brand new junk journalers, brand new. So um, we want to be able to, to help them, give them ideas, 
and whoop, we don't want to do that. Did you see that, my little bird? Please, please come up, okay. I was really liking it till I realized that my little bird was, um, got to do this quickly too because, well, not and carefully. You see, it's starting to rip up here. Aww. Oh well, that'll be under the bird, right? Okay, so let's go ahead, re-glue. I'm going to leave this in so you're going to see my mistake. Don't get mad. <laughs> Okay, so I really want to be able to use those birds on a different project. So this time when I put this down, I'm going to make sure that those birds are nowhere near my napkin. I mean, yeah, there we go. Okay, we need to pull that up. Okay, I'm okay with the wrinkles. I think it gives it character especially after it dries and it just is I think the a great finish okay so there I've added the napkin I love this okay go ahead and trim this down And I might take this in and put it on the sew machine after we're done, after it's dried. I don't want to put it wet on the sew machine. So there. Okay, so we can still see that down below. Okay, we've got, we didn't go to the edge. See, that's what you got to, with whatever glue you're using, you got to really watch that you make it to the edge. Or it will fold up like that. Okay, so there we go. Very easy to fix. Okay, so there it is with the wrinkles and everything, and I absolutely love it. So we have our junk mail. We're going to put our little bird right here, right in the tree. How clever is that? Okay, going all the way around. I'm not making a pocket out of this or anything. I know you're surprised because I love pockets and I cannot lie. But um, I think that this is going to be just absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm going to put his tail right at the edge. Okay. So now, book page. We're going to use our fluffy flowers. We have our Aileen's tacky glue. I'm going to put some on this um, paper right here. I know you're shocked because I didn't just put it straight on my, my table. Um, Okay, let's make sure we get all the, the wrinkles out of this. Okay, and I have a, a skewer and I have an incense stick. And the incense stick actually had a better point on it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put dip my whatever you got in the, in the aliens. Okay, then on the, so the first one we go ahead and put it down and put some glue on it. Second one, we pick it up and we're gonna squish it in. This is where it gets the fluffy flower, okay? And then we're gonna come over and push it down, okay? We'll grab the next one. So now there's glue there ready for this one to sit on it, okay? So fluff it around, put it down, and you just keep keep doing that okay 
Now, if there doesn't seem to be any glue, then just grab some. Okay, that's four, and I think that's pretty good. So for my next one, I'm going to go ahead and grab it, and I'm going to put it next to it down. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put some glue on there because we didn't have any. And then just fluff and fluff. Put it in the glue and put it on top. Now you can distress these. You can use your stamp pads, make them different colors. Um, but they are so much fun. It's one of my favorite things. And I forget and don't do them for a while. I know we have a lot of new people. So I was like, well, I'll do fluffy flowers as one of my, my things. Okay. And of course you can just have just pieces as well. Oh, you know what? Let's come up here. Okay, and we could cut more and oop, make more fluffy flowers. Um, but I think that's really good. We already have attract the birds that you love. So we don't need any words. Now, usually I will put a bling in here. I'm gonna have to come up with something from this, um, from what I've collected to be able to go in there. So I'll be coming back and adding to that. Um, let's see, so we can go ahead and I think we'll collage this one right down here. Actually, I like it better up on top. Okay. So here we go. And we'll collage it up there. Okay. So we may come back and add um, something else to it. But that is a card made and we've used our fluffy flowers. So you can just fluff them up. And there you go. Okay, so that's my three items using book page. And I love them. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so YouTube will tell you when the next video is. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.